Okay, Assalamualaikum. So today we will cover another part of uh, public finance topic, which is the intergovernmental process correlations. Okay, I'm I'm so sorry because I quite late uploading the video because I'm not well these two three days. So uh, this is the topic of intergovernmental fiscal relations. Okay, so I'll start. I hope that all of you have. Um, the slides while you're listening to these um, videos so that you'll be better understand on each of the topic each of the subtopic that I'm talking to okay so um, as I said okay previously in the very first class as well um, in Malaysia okay uh, we operated a three-tier government system okay we have three-tier government system three levels of the government Okay, which is on the top is the federal government, then we have state government and local government. Okay, as I mentioned previously, each layers of the government possess their own sources of revenue and they manage their own uh, financial matters. Okay. Okay, look at the third slides. Um, let look at the definition of revenues. Okay, according to Article ninety six of the Federal Constitution, which states that okay, no tax or rate shall be levied by or for the purpose of the Federation except authorized by the federal law. Okay, which means here no tax can be imposed by the government unless that tax is passed through the Parliament. Okay, so any tax that need to be imposed by the government, this tax uh, should be approved by the Parliament. Okay, uh, if you remember when uh, our the government wanted to introduce uh, GSTs that time, so these GSTs need to be discussed, need to be approved in the Parliament before it can be implemented. Okay. So, uh, look at the other one. Okay, all proceeds of revenues are due to the federal government, except those assigned under states under Article One One Zero of the Federal Constitution, and those that are collected by local authorities and the religious department. Okay, so in general, all revenue derived in in Malaysia government, okay, is owned by the federal government all revenues except three which is the first one which is prescribed under uh, states government which is under article 110 of the federal constitution um, the uh, revenue collected by the local authorities and the revenue of the religious departments so except these three all the revenues are owned by the federal government so um, when we talk about revenue of the government as I mentioned we have three layers of the government so it is important for us to discuss um, revenue according to the layers okay so we'll start with the federal government revenue first okay look at the federal government revenue okay the um, federal government revenue means all income received by the federal government okay which is the first one is tax revenue okay tax revenue is the revenues from duties and tax which is imposed by the law which is need to be approved by the parliament okay and it can be categorized into two which is direct taxes and indirect taxes direct taxes is those taxes that the burden of tax cannot be shifted Okay, if let's say that person, okay, name uh, Ahmad, uh, he is, uh, he need to file tax, he need to pay for tax, so he cannot shift the burden of this paying tax to the other party. Okay, so that is direct taxes. The example of direct taxes, we have income tax and corporate taxes, and we know for the federal government in Malaysia, income tax and corporate tax is the biggest sources of revenue of the government. Okay, so the government of Malaysia relied more than fifty percent of its income from taxation. Okay, then um, we move to uh, indirect taxes. Okay, indirect taxes is those taxes that the uh, burden of tax can be shifted to the other party. 
like GSTs, SSTs, import tax. Okay, as I mentioned, I give you example in the previous class. Um, let's say for SSTs, uh, you 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 go for uh, any fast food restaurant and you enjoy the meal. Um, suppose that uh, GST is being paid by uh, that uh, fast food restaurant to its the government, but then because of the nature of the uh, G uh, SSTs, which is indirect taxes. The, where the burden can be shifted, so the uh, restaurant uh, shift the burden from uh, themselves to the consumers who consume the products. Okay, okay. Um, if you want further explanation on um, uh, federal government revenue, you may refer to page ninety eight to hundred uh, in the book in the Fatima Abdurraouf book. Okay. Then we have the second one. This, the first one is tax revenue. The second one is non-tax revenue. Non-tax revenue is payment or revenue derived from the services offered by the federal government. So if federal government um, offer any services, so uh, that services, that, uh, the payment for that services is owned by the federal government. For example, uh, the hospitals, if you go for any services in the hospitals and you need to pay some of money, so that money goes to this fund, which is non-tax revenue. The court fines, okay, if you're being fined by court, uh, let's say you drive recklessly and being fined by the court, so that money goes to this fund. Then government sells seeds of plants. Okay, if a government sells any seeds or plants, that money also goes to non-tax revenue. If government have any investment abroad, okay, like what government invest in UAE to build highways, so that money goes to this non-tax revenue. Licenses fee, if you renew your driving license, so that money also goes to here. Permits and visas. Okay, so all that is under the funds of non-tax revenue because the nature of this, uh, uh, this, uh, uh, you know, so a fund is, uh, is this not a tax money. Okay, so other than tax money, then um, the money will be included in this non-tax revenue fund. Then we have other receipts. Okay. Other receipts are those repayment of expenditure, interdepartmental credits, and repayment of excessive rate payment. For example, if let's say um, normally it happens okay, when uh, the newly uh, appointed staff, okay, so no, normally government won't pay them in the first month they work. Okay? So because it takes time for uh, the government to uh, manage the salary okay, of that particular uh, employees. Okay, normally they will get their their salary on um, uh, month second month or the third month. So government will pay lump sum on the second month or the third month. Let's say on the third month. Okay, sometimes uh, in 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 calculating those salary that should be paid on the, uh, on lump sum uh, three months. Okay, uh, government sometimes make mistakes and they overly pay. Okay, they overly paid you or they overly paid the employees. So once upon realizing that they, they, they already paid uh, more, excessively paid to that particular employee, on the fourth month, the government will deduct back uh, the salary from that uh, employees. So the money, the repayments, the refunds on, for, for that particular excessive payment will be included under other receipts. Okay? Or sometimes the government overly paid any suppliers. They paid suppliers more than the supplier should receive. So the refund for that money should also go to this other receipts fund. Then uh, revenue from federal territories. Okay, all revenue from federal territories like uh, Kuala Lumpur, Putrajaya, Labuan. Okay. Um, so this revenue from these federal territories is owned by the revenue for uh, for the federal government. Okay, it is owned by the federal government. Uh, if let's say DBKL they impose assessment tax or or they have uh, any uh, um, you know the 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 wilayah kesukutuan KL they have their own taxes they have their own licenses fees that money 
goes to the federal government. Any revenue from the federal territories is owned by the federal government. Okay, so that is on the federal government. Okay, let's look from the state government. For state government, we have two types of revenue. First, the grants provided by the federal government. And then second one, the revenue that is stated under Article 110 of the Federal Constitution, which is Part 3 of the 10th Schedule in the Federal Constitutions. Okay, first we look on, on the grants of the federal government. Okay, there are three types of grant. The first uh, types of grant is payable under Article 109 of the Federal Constitution. Okay, which is capitation grant, state road grant, and state reserve fund. Then, uh, a grant which needs to be approved by National Finance Council before it is being given to the state government, which is grant for infrastructure. And another type of grant is grants which is payable under various act of the parliament, which is the revenue growth grant. Okay, look at the capitation grant. Okay, capitation grant is a compulsory grant. Okay, which is mentioned in the federal constitution, okay, Article One Zero Nine, which is this is a sort of um, a gift, okay, a grants from the federal government towards the state government, uh, in order to help the state government to cope with their operating expenditure. We know that state government they have their own employees, they have their own utility bills, so they need to pay this operating expenditure. And one way of the federal government to help the state government to cope with their um, uh, operating expenditure is by giving them the capitation grant. Okay, I provide there how the capitation grants, the calculations of the capitation grants. The capitation grants is being given according to the populations of every state. So the more population each state have, the more capitation that states will get. Okay, so look at that. For the first hundred thousands person, the rate is seventy two ringgit per person. So, per head, it is calculated per head. Then another five hundred thousands, another ten ringgit and twenty cent per person. Okay, that's how it is being calculated. Then uh, we move to state road grant. Okay, as its name confirms, state road grant is a grant given by the federal government towards the state government in order to help them to maintain the state road. Okay, for the federal government road that is under the jurisdiction of the federal government to maintain, to install, to build roads in the federal government roads, but in the state roads that is the, under the responsibilities of the state government. So in order to help them to pay for uh, those uh, maintenance of road, so federal government do give state government um, grants. Okay, So um, this grant also is a compulsory payment uh, uh, to, the, to the state government. And the calculation is the state. Uh, the state need to, uh, you know, measure the length of the state that they need to maintain, and the federal government will pay the average cost for that. Okay, that is on the state road grant. Another uh, grant is state reserve fund. Okay, unlike pet, um, capitation grant and state road grant. State Reserve Fund is not automatic, it is not compulsory. This is uh, upon uh, application from the federal government. Okay, this is to assist uh, the state government uh, for their developmental expenditure. Okay, uh, the amount is determined by the federal government upon consultation with National Finance Council. Okay, so state government, if they wish to apply for a state reserve fund, so they need to apply to the federal government. The federal government need to consult first with National Finance Council before that grant is granted to the state government. Then we have uh, the last one, the last grant, which is uh, actually we have lots more grant, but then uh, which is covered under our syllabus is this four. Okay, the other one is a revenue growth grant. Okay, revenue growth grant is some sort like bonuses from the federal government. Let's say our government is doing so well, doing so good, our growth rate is increasing, you know, drastically, like ten percent, fifteen percent. So, uh, as a bonuses to acknowledge the contribution uh, for from each state. Okay, on the economic growth of the Malaysia, so uh, the federal government provide revenue growth grant to 
to do uh, state government. Okay. Okay, that is the uh, revenue for the state government, which is under uh, the categories of grants. Then we have uh, another types of revenues, which is stipulated under Article 110 of the Federal Constitution, okay, uh, which is under the 10th schedule. Okay. Look at the part 3. Okay, I'll pro I already provide list of uh, state government revenue. Okay, look at that. Revenue from toddy shops. Okay, any toddy shops registered in each state. Okay, so um, the tax that they get from the toddy shops, uh, that tax, because each, 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 uh, you know, alcoholic drinks or liquor, they actually, uh, government already impose certain amount of tax. Okay, so that tax is um, owned by the state government. And then revenue from lands, okay, lands, uh, mines and forests. Okay, we know that land, mines and forests is actually under the uh, state government jurisdiction. So uh, any revenue from that is uh, owned by the federal government. Then revenue from licenses connected to the water supplies. Okay. If uh, water supplies, we know that is owned by the um, state government. So that's why in each state they have different companies that manage uh, the water. Okay, like in Seremban, you have Syarikat Air Negeri Sembilan. Then uh, Syarikat Air Malaka. Then we have Lembaga Air Perak. So they have different uh, companies that manage the water. And the, the rate of the water charge also different in each state because that that uh, revenue is owned by the state government. Then entertainment duties. Okay, if you if let's say you watch uh, uh, movies in the cinemas, uh, then look at the ticket. You need to pay an entertainment tax. So that is owned by the state government. Or you go for any karaoke. So that is under entertainment duties. Fees in courts other than the federal courts, so uh, courts, the magistrates' courts, the fees that you pay uh, for uh, courts is owned by the state government. Then you have uh, revenue uh, receipts in respects of raw water, as I mentioned, rents on state property. Okay, let's say states, the state government have their own hall, have their own futsal. Uh, so uh, court so uh, if they say the public want to use that they need to pay and that uh, payment goes to uh, state government revenue interest on state balances okay, if, uh, let's say state government have uh, savings or they have their own uh, investment the interest also goes to the state's government then receipts from land sales okay any sales of land okay uh, if you if let's say you have land and you want you want to transfer the ownership to someone else, you need to pay some amount okay, to the state government as a charge. So that charge goes to the state government revenue. Then fines and forfeitures in courts. Okay, other than the federal court, you being fined. If you being fined by the court, other than the federal court, then session court, for example, you you being fined because you let's say um. Uh, driving recklessly as I mentioned just now then you need to pay some amount of fines that fines also goes to the state government zakat, fitra and batumal and the treasure trove okay? treasure trove means um, harta karun okay? uh, example uh, at your kampung then uh, once you actually gardening then you found out some some amount of gold okay uh, you thought that it is yourself, okay? It is not, okay? Kalau uh, whatever yang you jumpa under the grounds, okay, which is minerals like uh, gold, silver, silver, okay, diamonds, okay, so that is owned by the state government, okay? So that is treasure trove. So we know that federal government, okay, so far we have learned on the federal government revenue, state government revenue, and each of the layers of this government of the government own their own uh, revenues. Okay. Uh, however, there, there is actually uh, uh, the federal government couldn't interfere 
on the matters of the state government. Okay, they, they couldn't interfere. Okay, um, but there are instances where the interference can be done. Okay, for example, the first one is grants. Okay, just now when I talk about state reserve fund, okay, if let's say um, the Fed, the state government need need state reserve fund, so they need approval from the federal government. The federal government need to. Uh, uh, you know, alliance with National Finance Council. So, uh, this actually, uh, there is an um, uh, interference from the federal government to the state's government. And the second one in terms of borrowing. Okay? Uh, the general rule is uh, state government can borrow, but then only borrowings to, from the federal government. And, and then uh, the borrowings also need to be... Uh, Oh, I, 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 I rephrase, okay. Um, Fed state government can borrow, but only upon approval from the federal government. They can borrow from other commercial, uh, internally only, domestic borrowings only. They can't borrow from the externals. They can borrow from the internal banks, for example, but upon approval from the federal government. And that, the, 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 the durations of the borrowings should not be more than five years, okay. So that is the relationship between federal government and state government, which is, in general rule is, federal government cannot interfere in the um, financial matters of the state government unless in these two things, which is grants and borrowings. Then the last one is the local government revenues. Okay, Local government revenues is those revenues which is covered under Local Government Act 1976, which is included all tax rates, licenses, fees, dues, and other sums of charges payable to the local authority. So, cukai pintu, uh, saman parking, uh, you know, if you uh, parking on the area, uh, parking on the local government area, you need to pay coupons whatsoever. Uh, uh, that is owned by the local government and all charge and profits arising from any trades if let's say local government have trade normally all big uh, local government like BBKL, MBPJ they have their own investment so uh, that money goes to the local government and uh, another part it is the local uh, the revenues from, from the religious department so any money from Baitumal, Zakat that, that is owned for uh, it is owned by the religious department under each particular state. Okay, so that is all on the revenue from the revenue of the government. Okay, and how they have relationship on the fiscal in terms of fiscal. So if you have any question, then you may ask me in the tutorial class. That's all. Thank you.